Okay, hi everybody. This is the uh, next video in my painted zombie side black blade series. So this is the first box we're going to look at. It's the Grom and Thalia. So this is Grom. And I'll show you him. Obviously it's a Conan type character. Obviously it's not the best paint jobs in the world, but um, it's really good for what I want. Perfectly adequate. And finally for this mini box is Thalia, which I'm assuming these are based on Red Sonia and as I said, um, Conan. So we'll now move on to the second box. There's five boxes in this video. Okay, the next box is going to be the Mark Simonetti special guest box. First character up is Anther. What I tend to do when I play the game is I just pick a couple of boxes at random and that's the characters that we have to play with. Next up is Lady Grim. The only problem with doing bases like this is the bits tend to fall off after a lot of handling. You have to do a little bit of repair work. That's her. Now we have Cadence. And finally, for this box, we have Red Cap Rodney. And probably one a lot of people play if they've got him. So we'll now move on to the third box in this video. Okay, this is the um, John Howe special guest box. First character up is Gorvin. Dravog is next. Quite a big sword this guy's got. Then we have Cyrene. I like the um, the vapor type thing that she's flowing out of her hair. It looks like a dragon. If you look down at the feet, yeah, that's her. And finally, this for this box we have Hildir. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. Somebody was calling me from downstairs, and here's Hildir. With her goat. I haven't played this one yet, so I'm not sure how this one plays. But we'll, uh, I'll give it a go one day. I always try each character at least once. So we'll now move on to. Okay, this is the Carl Critchlow box. Uh, we've got three heroes and a necromancer. So take a look at the necromancer first. This is Cars. Tome Kupa. Is the necromancer. So we'll take him out first. If you're wondering how you tell the difference between these on the board, 
uh, from the other figures because it does get quite clustered on the board at uh, later on in stages of the game and um, they have different cuddled little um, plastic bases that you put them in so you can tell them apart next up we have black current yes i know that's a bit of a naff name but there you go big figure though Again, a lot of people's favourites to play. Next up we have Persephone. Here she is in all her armoured glory. I have no real preference to male or female characters in games really and finally we have Thrud it's quite a big bulky character this one and here he is so we now move on to the final box on this video and then it'll probably be a little while before I do some more videos because I'm going to be painting up a load more. Okay, so the final box in this video is going to be the Paul Bonner, the second box that he's done. And the first character we're going to take a look at is the one on the front, which is Carol Black Oak, which I'm assuming is a female. With a name like Carol, but it could be male, but. No, I would say that's definitely a female. Suggestions below. The miniature looks male, but the picture looks female. But there you go. Next up we have... Oh, we'll use him last. We'll take a look at this one first. This is Tola. This Tola. Quite a heavy mini. Just trying to find the last one. We have um, yeah, something gone wrong with this box. Trying to figure something out here. I've put the wrong card in the box, I think. I'll have to recheck that. Uh, we'll have a look at this one anyway. This is Thorg. And this is Thorg. Right, Thorg is, I believe it's this thing. Because there's a necromancer in this box as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Thorg is the big character underneath. And the character on top is Kirag. So you've got Thorg and Kirag. Kirad. Great looking mini though. And finally, um, it's a necromancer. Um, trying to think of his name, have a look at the back of the box. It's Faolan. It's Faolan. He's a necromancer. So that threw me off a bit there, those uh, character cards there. Two cards for one figure. So we'll take a look at all the boxes together and finish off. So there you go. That's the five boxes in this video. Um, got a load more figures to get painted up and some really big ones. So stay tuned. See you guys later.